Hi there. In this video, we are going to be installing Windows 11 on this HP ProBook 4540S. This came with Windows 8 on it. It has Windows 8 at the moment, but we are going to be doing a full fresh install of Windows 11 from this bootable drive. If you want to know how to create a Windows 11 bootable drive, I will link a video in the description. So now we just need to boot from this, wipe everything that's on the computer because uh, my friend that owns this uh, already copied all of his data so I can wipe everything. It's the easiest way to do this. Uh, and go from there. And Windows 11 should actually activate with the Windows 8 key that is stored in the chip of this particular laptop. So we should have a Windows 11 activated version, even if this came with Windows 8, which is actually great. What I don't really remember if it is if we have an SSD or a normal uh, mechanical hard drive in this laptop, because I really, really prefer to have SSDs in any computer these days. So we'll see about that. Hopefully SSD and then everything will go smooth and fast with hard drive. It will be slow. But anyway, let's see. So we need to plug this thing uh, into a USB port. And in theory boot, but I don't remember which is the boot menu key on this particular uh, laptop. So I need to search and watch my own video that shows for HP's uh, which is the boot key because I just don't remember. I must be getting old when I need to watch my own videos. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Be ready to press F9 to enter the boot menu or F10 if you want to enter BIOS. For the moment we want boot menu, so F9. Press power and start smashing F9. Boot device options and uh, now external USB hard drive. This is the thumb drive that I have here. I will hit it and then I will zoom on the screen itself because uh, we don't need to see the rest anymore. So external USB drive and Windows 11 logo and we are booting from this thing. And it has started. Time and currency, Romanian, not Moldova, Romania. Okay, keyboard, no, I think we have a US keyboard. And hit next. Install now and uh, wait for it to do its thing. You can click here on I don't have a product key because again the key is in the chip of this particular laptop. It's not on a paper uh, st uh, sticker on the back of the laptop. That was done only up to Windows 7. From then on the uh, keys are in the the chip of the laptop itself. So I don't have a product key for the moment. It should be able to uh, take it by itself from there. And we want to install Windows 11 Pro. And hit next. You can see on, uh, on such a bootable drive, Windows 11 has all of the versions on a single drive. And yeah, it tells us this. This is a bit annoying. I will use another one of my videos uh, to make sure that we can, can install Windows 11 even on a system that normally isn't supporting Windows 11. It doesn't have the required TPM chip in it, or at least the required level of TPM or version more, uh, more correctly. So I will uh, do that. That video will also be in the description and uh, go from there. So what you need to do is press shift and F10. And in here, reg edit. We need to edit the registry. And in here, let me see if I remember, HK local machine, was it system? I might be wrong, be back in a second. I was actually right, I remembered correctly. In setup, we need to right click and create a key called lab config. L A B config. And now in here, right click, new, D word 32 bit value, and the name will be bypass 
by pass dpm check and then right click on it modify and set it to one okay then click again on lab config new dword 32 bit bypass secure boot check so we have bypass tpm tmp ha i named it wrong it would uh, have not worked uh, rename be careful about this if you uh, put the name wrong it's, it's not going to work secure boot check modify set it to one okay and now we can simply close this and close this and go uh, with our settings and continue what we were doing install now and it will work so be back in a second in here again this was a windows 8 machine so the uh, key is in the chip i don't have a product key Eleven Pro. Hopefully, that was the version of uh, Windows uh, 8 that was on this particular uh, laptop. Because if it was uh, Windows 8 Home, for example, it's not going to work. I should install Home. Let me check on the sticker because it hopefully says Home or Pro on it. Okay. It seems we have this sticker on the back, so it's Windows 8 Home. So we need to install Windows 11 Home to be able to use the same key and we are back in here and we need to install windows 11 home on this particular laptop for you depends what version you had with it we could buy simply a new windows 11 key but doesn't make sense this laptop already has one for windows 8 which will be accepted for windows 11 accept next install windows only we don't want to keep anything so i will be wiping all of these partitions uh, no this is a hard drive this is not an ssd e yeah i need to check with my friend if i'm allowed to wipe absolutely everything even the recovery partitions it or maybe let me think what can i do Ah. Hmm. so it basically has only one big partition you know what i'm not going to touch anything else i will just format the os one just to make sure that uh, everything is okay the other ones are that small that they really don't matter to me so the os one is formatted here is a 12 gig small this is my thumb drive that I'm booting from. It was downgraded to only 32 gigs, the partition on it, because it's much bigger. And a lot of unallocated space was on this particular drive. Whoa, and I, it does not seem to allow me to create a new partition. I need to check uh, within Windows when it's booted why it doesn't. But you shouldn't be having this, uh, these issues. So for us, I, I just uh, wiped the the big partition where windows was and i'm going to install uh, windows on it and now we can consider this a uh, clean a uh, full clean install in my in my book but i need to check this this shouldn't be like that should uh, we should create a d drive to be able to store files so i i'm expecting this is a uh, how big 750 gig uh, drive most likely anyway next okay and let it do its thing but i highly recommend you get an ssd i don't even know why i i didn't realize to tell my friend this before he should get an ssd there's no excuse um, in 2024 to not have an ssd on your computer i literally forgot how slow hard drives actually are uh, most likely this will get upgraded to an ssd in the following months i can tell you that for a fact I'm going to insist for this and we'll see about the RAM if it has uh, four gigabytes or less 
that's also going to get upgraded but hopefully it has eight or at least six we'll see this is absolutely painful to watch from now on i have a rule i'm not working on computers with hard drives anymore it's just not worth my time and uh, frustration to deal with how slow hard drives are there's no excuse to to have uh, at least an ssd for windows and your software in your laptop or computer if you want to for long time storage to keep uh, an old hard drive that's absolutely fine but for windows and your software ssd and i'm not touching anything without an ssd from now on it's just no it's too annoying too slow I literally panicked because this, this thing started talking to me. It has some accessibility feature now, it seems, that gets activated by itself if uh, during the install at this step you are not doing anything to it. So it was telling me what to do to continue with the accessibility uh, feature. Whew, okay. But yeah, this is extremely slow and for sure it will get an update. Keyboard layout, uh, nope, we have uh, United States. Skip second layout. Oh, and we also want an offline account. Ah, oh, Jesus, installing Windows has become so slow these days. At this point, I, I'm too far. I need to restart the computer. And at the previous step, I need uh, again <laughs> to uh, enter a command to basically uh, disable uh, the network so it thinks it doesn't have internet so I can uh, install a local account because my friend doesn't want an online account. And I also don't like uh, necessarily online accounts for Windows. So, yikes. But otherwise, we still want Windows 11 without that crap. It can obviously be done. You uh, do this and then make sure uh, you disable the network and it will allow you to install Windows with offline account. Yikes. In the case, power button. <laughs> power, bu power button is your friend always. Well, that didn't work, did it? So I need to long press this button to make sure it actually shuts off and doesn't just enter standby. And now it's off. Power it on again and wait until it brings you to the choosing of country screen. Uh, right back here. So shift F10. Oh, oh. Hmm, keyboard not working. Why is that? Sometimes the windows is not selected. The window. Now it's selected. So just click on it. In case uh, you are not typing o o b e slay slash bypass n r n r o I think uh, it's bypassing enrollation hmm. something like that so it's doing that again slow because of the hard drive yikes. Wait for it to be back at the same uh, point, back at the same screen. Again, Shift F10, make sure it's selected. And uh, here we need to do release and uh, slash, oh no, no, sorry, IP config. To set up your device using a screen reader, Turn on narrator by pressing Windows and Control and Enter. For more accessibility features, uh, press Windows and U, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. Lady, I'm doing something. <laughs> Probably the, the setup guide isn't noticing this window because it's not normally part of the setup. Uh, anyway, IP config slash release. We have one space between IP config and uh, the slash. Oh, okay, everything is disconnected. So in theory, 
because we don't have a cable plugged in. Maybe this is more necessary when you are plugged in via cable, but we were not connecting to anything. Anyway, close this thingy, country is ok, and go to the motion of installing Windows 11 finally on a slow drive, yikes. I really really hate that in case you didn't uh, uh, realize that yet. So in theory now it's asking us for a network. I don't have internet, great. Continue with limited setup. Enter your name, I will enter the name of my friend. Enter a password, for the moment uh, I will not input a password. That can be obviously changed later. And uh, click on a bunch of uh, nodes because I know. Uh, oh, required only. Nope. 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 My Android phone is enough. Right? We don't need more. Setup is obviously continuing. So I'll be back when something else happens. And we are booted into Windows 11. And let me see how much memory this laptop has. Please don't have 4 gigs. Please don't have 4 gigs. And it has 4 gigs. <sighs> this was good 10 years ago. Not good in 2024, for sure. So we will also upgrade this next to the Hitachi hard drive. 500 gig hard drive, actually. That's weird. I thought it's bigger. Maybe I misread the values. Anyway, but uh, yeah, let me also check uh, if uh, Windows uh, got uh, activated. Uh, let's go into... Where is this? Home? Activation, we need to go into activation, but I don't remember where it is. So here is where I wanted to reach. Can connect, I need to connect it to Wi-Fi first so it can activate. Be back in a second. Tada! The second we connected to internet, it was less than 10 seconds for it to, to activate. So, Windows is activated and we used the old Windows 8 uh, license and now we have a full working Windows 11 home on this laptop, which is awesome. But it sucks because it's really slow, so we need to upgrade it, uh, which most likely will be a completely different video. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope this video helps you, in which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.